All right, everybody, welcome back to another itch.io free-to-play walkthrough. Today we have Real Stories from the Grave Volume 1, which I guess is supposed to be a spoopy, scary game. So I'll leave a link to the game in the description, as always, if you want to support the creator slash try the game yourself. And if you want to support me, you can always like and subscribe, and I always do appreciate that as well. Let's give this bad boy a try. Do-do-do. Uh-oh. We have 240p. Can I move? Ah, yes, I can. Why are we on a camcorder? What do I have in my hands? Can I throw it? Look at these stars, though. They're pretty. Can I sprint? No, I can't. Real stories from beyond the grave. Oh, no. Let me turn up the volume in case it starts doing some storytelling. Or if there's a jump scare, so you guys can be deafened as well. Ho ho! We are moving at the speed of slow. Rolling around at the speed of slow. Can I put it in the barrel? Nope. What do I have? What is this? Why am I carrying a rock? Makes no sense. There's a van. Am I getting into the van? I feel like I'm about to get abducted. Let's get in the driver's side. Put Christine's corpse in the trunk. Ah, oh, so that's what we have. E key to do it if you're playing. Play along. So what happened to Christine? What did we do? <laughs> I guess we'll find out. Yeah, let's leave. Okay. Why are we at a gas station? The haunted gas station. Pump the gas, I guess. Is that what we're here for? Oh, it's crackling at me. Our camcorder's cutting out. Why do I walk so damn slow? What in the world is going on? Trash bag. Yeah, my camcorder's crackling at me. I don't know what to do here. I don't want to leave the car for- Oh, did I just face to the gas pump? <laughs> okay. Magical. Open fuel lid. Yes! Yes! We're doing it! Huzzah! Refuel car. Ah, yes. I don't want to look up. Oh, something came sprinting at me while I'm trying to refuel this car. Christine's gonna bang on the back or something. Oh, this is taking forever. Please refuel the car faster. Ooh. Oh, we did it. Huzzah! Well, nothing too spoopy yet. Okay. Where are we at now? Did we wreck? Ah, this is where we bury Christine. Right off the road, so nobody will be able to see us. It's genius. I couldn't have thought of this better concocted plan myself. <laughs> Where's our shovel and stuff, dog? Or are we just gonna carry the body and just like leave it? We're not even gonna bury it. We're just gonna dump it and run. They'll never catch me. Two tales from beyond the grave. Uh oh, lights are flickering. Okay, y'all need to chill with this. I need my lights. Where do you want to be buried? We're going pretty deep in the woods, my dude. For some reason, why? No, no. Are we the screwed? Is that a train? Ah, oh, it's a. What are we doing? We're going to put her in the pond? Oh, this is genius. 
Look at us. We're, we have steps to our plan. We already have a boat prepared and everything. Oh, she's in there. She's wiggling. Look at her go. Oh, Christine. I hate to say it, but you might just possibly be fucked. <laughs> Look at that moon, though. It's pretty. Dang, we must really not like Christine. I don't know what Christine did, but... Man. Kind of reminds me of that thing, and if you ever seen the movie Funny Games, it's like a, a troll movie that's bad for the sake of being bad. There's a scene where they row this lady out on a boat, like this, and it's just, that whole movie is so painful. It's fun to make people watch, to see their reaction when they realize that the movie's really bad, but besides that, the movie has like no, no good points to it, really, to be honest with you, except trolling other people. God, you take forever to row. Can I row backwards? No. Oh, I can turn, though. I don't know why I would, but I can. Is this a tunnel or is it the moon? Because this thing's getting huge. There's stars, though. What is this? We're exiting the virtual world. Into the land of the Digimon. Let's go, Christine. What was her name? Crystal? I don't know. We are monsters with good intentions. Our instincts drive us, but our passions devour us. To be continued. What the f... What? <laughs> what? Alright, well, guys, we'll give this game a try as well. It's called Bleak Shore. I don't know if it'll be good or not. We'll see. If it's actually really good, we might just do this video. I don't know. Ola left an odd voicemail. The sound kept cutting out, so I... This scroll's so slow. Didn't catch it all. Hey, honey. I'm zzz. I zzz. Be home, zzz. I'm zzz. Bleak short. Zzzzzzz. That's supposed to be like static, like... <sighs> Love you. <sighs> so, I guess I came to Bleak short to find out if she's okay. It's probably nothing. I probably shouldn't have come here. There. But here I am. Hi. We did it. We're at Bleak Shore. What's this thing? It's white. Touch it. Huh. What's this doing here? The text is so slow. The photo I took of us the day we met. Out in the dunes. By the lighthouse. Maybe his wife is Crystal, <laughs> and that guy's sitting her out on a boat, and he's like, Ah, oh, where's my wife at? And <laughs> Bleak Shore was where they drove the pond, I guess. And he left, like, a conspicuous, like, text message to blur him out here. Look at this beach, though. What a wonderful beach. This looks like the beach from Fucker in the Gulag. What are we doing? Can I swim? See y'all on the flip side. Nope. The water is a wall. Okay, I'm lost. Can you sprint, dog? No, of course not. That would be too convenient. Nobody sprints no more. One dude's carrying some crystal chick around in a dead body bag. This guy walks around at speed of slow as well. At least he does have a dead body in his hands, though, so he's moving a little bit faster than that. Whoa, look at these trees! They're making noises at- Oh, wow, there was, like, a black thing over there. Did y'all see that shadowy thing over there? That, like, disappeared? I guess we're going this way. Now he's moving with a purpose. Whoa, it's a building! Holy schnikers! Yes. Look at that house. Oh my god, it's a bathroom. Blah, 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 blah. I can't open it. This restroom is locked. I guess we'll leave the restroom to go this way. Oh, there's a white thing over there. We're going the right way. That's the thing I touched at the start where he's like, oh. How oh, this photo of me and my wife get out here? 
Oh. Golly, guys. Something nefarious is afoot. Yes. Touch it. Touch the stars. Orla's old glasses. She can't see anything without her glasses. I felt so bad when I sat on them. We taped them up, but they were never the same. After that, I still adore those purple frames. She has Velma. Velma had purple frames, I think. Whoa, we're back to the ocean. out here why are we on the ocean the shore is quite bleak <laughs> get it get it it's a game title ah, bleak shore ah. <laughs> God dang it. something's growling at me or a house is falling down I'm not sure which well is this another body of water is this where we actually sailed out with the or uh chris oh it's clicking at me i'll click at me i'll click back ah this water is also a wall why is oh my god we're surrounded by bodies of water my guy can't swim such unfortunate what is going on with these sound effects? It's like the trees want to eat me. Let's look up at the sky. On well, this game, it's quite cloudy and there are no pretty stars. A three branching path. Oh my God, quite the decisions. Let's check what's over here and they'll go over there. What mystery. Hopefully this will have more answers than the last game did. My first dress. Why would Orla bring this here? Oh, am I a woman? Are we both women? Or we are. I was so nervous trying it on. Orla was supportive. The dysphoria hit like a brick. Ah, when I saw myself in the mirror. But then I felt kind of excited. It didn't look terrible. I had to keep telling myself that it might not have looked terrible, but these noises that are going on here are quite terrible. I feel like I'm under attack. What's up with this ruins of a building? God dang, if I was her I'd probably leave because these noises are the birthday card she got me last year. Are we asleep? Are we dreaming? Happy birthday, Izzy. I hope the year to come is amazing. Did you know? I think you're beautiful. I love you so much, Orla XXX. I still find it hard to believe compliments like that. Uh, just take the compliments. Oh, uh, did that thing show up again? That black shadowy thing? I think I moved my camera too fast, but I thought I saw it hanging out. Nature. Ooh. Oh, that must be me crunching the leaves. I was about to say. Nature obviously doesn't want us out here. It keeps making weird noises. Ah, uh, now we have a two road path. We go to the left or the right? I'm feeling the right. I'm feeling quite partial to the right. Yeah, let's go to the right. Do -do -do -do. Oh my god, is it more bodies of water? My favorite. Oh, some of these leaves crunch like someone's behind me. But there's no one behind me. Another memento. Oh no, memento. There it is again. What's up? Ah, oh, it disappeared again. 
He needs to quit following me. I'm nosy. Orla loves this tattered old book. Eldritch 4. Oh god, Cthulhu. Stories Volume 4. I remember when I pointed it out to her. In that dusty old used book store. I wonder if she used this as a sacrifice. Why would she just leave it here? On the ground. At Bleak Shore. I think she might be sacrificing us to Cthulhu, my dude. Or my... Uh, what would I say for my dude? My dude? My female? My girl? She's, she's sacrificing us to my girl. Do that? There you go. <laughs> I have bad. Oh, there it was again. That thing is fast. It like shows up, then disappears. Makes a weird noise. You know what this kind of reminds me of? The noises. It kind of reminds me of uh, Evil Dead 2 when the thing's chasing Ash through the woods. That's what the noises remind me of when it's like breaking through all the trees and stuff. Yep. This was her favorite mug. It's shattered. What's happening? Not the mug. Why did I come here? I came to see Orla, obviously, but probably are going to end up as a sacrifice, unfortunately. Hate to say it, but I think we've been duped. Lighthouse, we made it. Can you believe it? The shore's not gonna be quite so bleak after I turn that lighthouse on. Weird noises intensify. Could you just imagine if that black thing just started chasing us down as we were going up here? That thing is like making some static noise at me, like real bad. Don't you worry your little head, I'm coming up. Don't you shoot me with no laser beam either, I ain't gonna put out that light. Shut the door, shut the door! Oh, we can't shut the door. Holy oh, crap, this thing's got more static than a CRT TV from the frickin' 80s. Come on. What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, what's up fam? She stood there. Silent. Is that Orla? Cardboard cutout? Motionless, looking out to sea. I touched her. Shoulder. <laughs> she jumped in fright. The tears in my eyes blurred my vision. I blurted out. I'm sorry. I, I, I. Shh, shh. It's okay, she interrupted. Soft and soothing. Before I could say more. I'm sorry, I was worried. Your voice now. It's okay. You have nothing to be sorry for. I just came here to think. I found a bunch of our stuff. Oh, oh no. Orla quickly checked the bag she had slung over her shoulder. Oh no, there's a hole in my bag. I've been so deep in thought, I mustn't have noticed things falling out. Who's typing on this typewriter? I came here to think, that's all. I'm sorry I followed you. I thought... No, no, it's okay. You were just worried. I understand. I'd do the same thing for you. You would? Of course. I would. <laughs> I love you. I love you too! The end. What the fuck? <laughs> Bleak Shore! A game by... 
Ryogen Hackett, Cade Higgins, and Fion Powers. Power. For the Haunted PS1, Wretched Weekend, One Game Jam, Ryogen Hackett, Programming, Design, Environment, Art, Level Design, Art direct Direction, Cade Higgins, 3D Art, Beyond Power, Music, Sound effects. She's the one to play for these noises. <laughs> yeah. Sound design. It did give a creepy feel, but there was no creepy. Special thanks to Katie, Danny, everyone on the HPS1 Discord. I guess it kind of got you into it, but then you just, I guess it's kind of, uh, I got memed, I guess. I mean, it's kind of neat having like two horror games that were supposed to be horror-like, and there was... The first one, we're still, we're, we were left on red. We don't know what's going to happen in that one. I think there'll be a sequel that follows up, explains something a little bit more. This one, it seems like there's a big misunderstanding. And it looked like it was going to be horror because somehow she was just appearing randomly on the island. But you never know. Our person could just be imagining it. But uh, at least I had some closure to it and I understood what was going on. In the first one, we got away from more before anything can be really said by that. But thanks for watching as always guys. If you like the video, please like and subscribe. And as always, I'll leave the link to both of the games in the descriptions. Bye!